Claffy. Claffy is nuts, for one. Uh, Claffy is somebody who you just have to love and hate. He uh, kind of wears his emotions on his sleeve, and he's not afraid to voice his opinion, whether you think it's uh, brilliant or whether you think it's stupid. You know, he's definitely a vocal person, and that's something that you just have to admire uh, because Claffy kind of just believes in Claffy, and I think as a human being, you have to believe in yourself. The genesis of this record, well, from the experience that I had, um, it was from a past relationship and the story of that. So the, the music was coming from that place and you know, I think a lot of us can relate to something that's unresolved and uh, just trying to finally have closure over something. So that's on the personal end, which is everything. That's where it came from. But on the musical end, it just came to a point where I wrote some music and I, uh, I did a performance with a group of guys that I got together. Um, and it felt right. You know, from the music, I could tell I was like, okay, this needs to be workshop. This needs to be, you know, assembled in the studio, and we all need to work together to really create something great. And this is the right time to do it. So I was very fortunate to have that happen and uh, gain that feeling. The children's carousel. The chestnut trees, the wishing well. Michael Stephenson, as well as Camila Meza and Chanel Johns, are on the vocals. Uh, I sing a little bit myself. I have some background vocals. On guitar, we have Ben Yunson on. Oregon and Nord and Fender Rhodes, we have Michael King and Victor Gould on grand piano, as well as Jason Matthews. They all sort of switch off on the keyboard instruments. Uh, on the drums, we have Jonathan Barber and uh, from Los Angeles, Kyle Poole. And then, uh, let's see who else? On the horns, Matt Chalk, Troy Roberts, Benny Benack III, David Gibson. Uh, there's a duo track with just me and Dita, and she's playing nylon string guitar as well as singing. It's recorded, mixed, and mastered by Michael Perez Cisneros, as well as uh, co produced by Ben Jensen, Jason Matthews, and myself. Alex is sort of like, I think a guy who sort of, he's playing a ton around town and a lot of times he's playing in smalls and he's doing all this like really straight ahead jazz and that's only like a small part of this record which is really cool, there is that straight ahead element but the main thing is, um, you know, there's also more to the record which is cool, like he wrote, you know, it's like got lots of pop elements, lots of sort of R&B elements with lots of different influences uh, which is really cool, I mean there's anything sort of like, almost like Stevie Wonder vibe sometimes, almost like, you know, maybe a little bit of like D'Angelo kind of vibe, but it's like, it's all his though. So it's sort of like a really, it's really pretty hot in that sense. Because it's like really not just, you know, it's not just one thing. And somehow we're really, as time goes on, we're putting everything together, we're really doing, I think we're doing a good job, like actually making it all sort of have a thread that goes through the record, which I really think is great. And let you go. 